All right, what's up, guys? I wanted to do an unboxing and review, um, or at least initial Im impressions. I, guess. I sh shouldn't call it a review unless I actually put some, some miles on them, which I do plan down the road to uh, do an actual review. These are the Far Sports um, Fader Disc Brake. They're, these are actually with the Novatech hubs. Um, I wanted to try out the Novatech hubs. Um, because really, I don't really hear any bad things about Novatech. Um, yeah, they're not probably as high quality as DT Swiss or anything like that. But these these wheels were pretty dang cheap. I'll tell you guys. I don't know if there's a receipt inside. I haven't even opened it up yet. So um, just wanted to uh, get uh, show you guys how they come straight from Far Sports. Um, I did not try to open this one hand here. Um, all right, I got it open. My phone cut off. <laughs> got them open. So this is what they look like. Uh, packaged straight from the factory. Let me stand up here. So they look so pretty good. I got Zoe helped me out here. Right, Zoe? Help me out. All right. So this is how they come. Got those in here. And I will actually weigh them out for you guys too with my little scale. It's a pain in the ass doing it with one, uh, one hand, I'll tell you that. All right, so let's see. Which one is what? That feels like... Um, let's take out. All right, boom. And then I got these ones I actually got. I don't see a... Unless in that front slip it has like my actual receipt. Feel free to light. This is how they come. You can see it's like a. Uh, forget. I honestly forget what even coating I asked for, but it's not. It's not glossy and it's not matte. It's kind of like a in between. Um, if you can kind of see. What it looks like there, there's the Novatech hub. Pull this little thingy off here. It's kind of a pain in the ass doing it with, uh, without a tripod here, isn't it? <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I'll hold the phone up later in a little thing and so you guys can see what it kind of sounds like. Let's see. Um, let's do this. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see me good. All right, not very professional here, all right? So what can you see? All right, let's see. You can see the... uh I my dog here. Feels really smooth. Seems like it tracks, or it doesn't. I uh, think like it's pretty true, at least from... The hand tree test here. As you can see, it's not really moving. Seems buttery smooth. Um, as you can see too, I got the ones with uh, without the holes. So, which is nice for me. I don't run tubeless. They're tubeless compatible, but I don't run tubeless myself. It's just nicer. I don't have to do uh, rim tape. You know, makes it nice and easy. So let me get out the. Uh, Let's do this right now, actually. <clears throat> Show you the weights. House is kind of a mess. It was just Halloween yesterday, and it was my birthday, too. So I <sighs> need a table to... Uh... All right. So here's my scale. All right. So this is the front wheel, obviously. Front wheel, 570, so 570 for the front wheel. Let's put that here. Like I said, it's a mess right now. I got dog food laying on the ground and candy and wrappers and present crap. Okay. 
Looks like there's not anything else in the box. So let's see. Okay. So it looks like they don't give you any like they don't give you any like extra spokes or anything like that. So all right, so let's look a closer little look at this hub here from Novatech. It doesn't have any, it doesn't have like an actual like anti-bite guard or anything like that. Sounds not too loud. Um, let's do this again. Sounds pretty good. It's not super loud. I don't like super loud hubs myself, so um, sounds fine to me. Sounds fine to me. Let's uh, feels like it's on there pretty good. Yeah, feels pretty good. And you can see too, they have little, um, little uh, drainage hole on both sides. In case you got, you know, you're in the rain and water's getting out there. But overall, wheels look pretty good. They do have the uh, aero spokes on them, the Sape MCX X ray um, spokes. Let's see how much these caught these way. Sorry, I'm a horrible cinematographer here. All right, it was 570 for the front. And 700 even for the rear. So 570 and 700. So that's 1270 total. 1270 total for disc. Disc brake wheels, total weight. 1270 which is pretty dang light i'm gonna get them all oh shoot i'm gonna get them all uh mounted up and uh hopefully take a ride on them and give you guys the initial impression once again i apologize for my horrible camera man quality here i don't really make videos as you can see so they installed pretty freaking easily um Actually, I didn't even even need tire levers. Um, I normally ride rim brake. That was my first bike, just a Fuji Sportif. Um, this was my main bike I was riding. It's a Chinese uh, Sava um, rim brake. I actually still really like this bike. Um, I'll probably race it so I don't have to crash my Specialized. As you can tell, though, I like the old school, just, you know, mechanical Non-integrated stems, freaking 27.2 seat posts. This is a Tarmac SL6. Um, so I, anyway, I'm getting uh, on a tangent here. So didn't need tire levers. I don't know if that's normal or not, but uh, could be just the specialized uh, turbos on here. Could be the wheels. These are the extra wide ones. I believe they're 28 wide. Um, I'll put the stats up, but uh, they installed freaking really easily. Um, they spin great. Um, obviously, you know, um, no problems there. Um, I don't have a truing stand or anything like that, so I can't see exactly, exactly how true they are. I'm not someone that's going to test all the freaking, um, all the spoke tension and stuff. No, I'm you know, most people like me are going to freaking open them up install them shoot i bet most people will probably take them to a bike shop to install them so we're not i'm not doing all that crazy stuff i'm sure there's other people you know oz cycle and those kind of people will test the spoke tensions this is just me i didn't see any reviews on these specific wheels so i was like okay well i'll do it then screw it um so that's why you're getting a subpar review so anyway um here's the rear wheel i'll give you guys a uh sound test as well but as you can see it's not glossy i don't know i'll tell you exactly what it's called but 
I guess it's a UD matte, but it, it's it's a little almost like a satin type look to it. I, I think it looks really good. Um, you know, they, they don't blast their their thing on there like you know, like super teams I got there. They don't blast anything there. They have a little thing, and it's a sticker. You can take it off. So I'll, I'll keep it on there how it is, though. I think it looks kind of, you know, fine. Uh, obviously, I'll take off these, but um, yeah. So let me give you the uh, sound sound test here. Let's see. So obviously not too loud, not too quiet. Um, I think it's just about right. So, um, you know, I will put some miles on these wheels and I will do an updated review. I'm not gonna do like, you know, a 50 mile review. Like I think it's kind of stupid. Maybe it's like an initial, but, um, cause for a lot of people that's like one ride. So, um, but yeah, um, I just wanted to show off these because most people, you know, I don't know how to even, I only got my camera, I can make it look back at me. Anyway, um, I don't think most people buy the Novatech ones with these wheels because they're, you know, these were like 600 and something bucks. I'll put up the exact price, plus the, the shipping was like 100 bucks. Um, I think these ones I could not even find on their actual website. I got these from AliExpress through their store on AliExpress. Um, so I couldn't even find these ones with the Novatech hub. The only ones I found on their website with the fader disc were uh, with the DT Swiss hubs, or I wanna say they have a couple like the Carbon TI and they have their own Far Sport one. Um, I actually hit them up because I'm a bigger dude. I'm like 90 kilograms. Um, and because the, the Far Sport hubs were the, were the actual lightest, um, but I said, Hey, like, you know, I can put out pretty decent power. I, I regularly put out over a thousand on my rides. I like sprinting, you know, and seeing how much I can do at the end of every ride. Um, and they actually, which I commend them. They're like, Hey, if you're putting out that much, maybe go with the Novatech. So it seems like the far sport hubs are more suited to, you know, maybe your endurance type. You're just doing climbing, um, I obviously bought these with the low, with the, the the 30 mils because I like to climb. Yeah, I weigh more, but I like to climb. Where I live in the countryside here, we get some crazy crosswinds. I'm talking crosswinds where last year uh, they turned off my power for three days because the winds were too crazy. And so I had no power for three days. And it was a pain in the ass to even ride outside because you'd be putting out four watts per kilo and you're going, you know, six miles per hour because uh, you're going against the wind. It was so crazy. Um, and I like to climb. I come downhill. I regularly go 50 miles per hour, five zero. So I'm one of those guys that just like to bomb through the hills. You know what I mean? I freaking bomb down. I, I don't ride the brakes. I only brake if I absolutely have to. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to ride these today. Um Maybe if I'm feeling feeling good, I'll post a little initial ride review uh, on them from my first ride. So yeah, just wanted to uh, make a little short film for you guys. Cool. Oh, and one last thing, show you guys the difference. So remember it was uh, what? Uh, 700 for the rear. These are DT Swiss R470s. So this one is 1,002, so 1, 1 1.002 kilos, okay, for a DT Swiss R470 that came stock on my tarmac. So 1,002, and then what? I think the front was 570, and these are 
785. So what I got a 285 gram saving on my front wheel plus a what 502 saving no 502 I'm adding them both up a 302 so over a 500 gram saving over a pound just changing the wheels over a pound for only about uh, 700 bucks so peace just wanted to show a little snippet of my ride that I did uh, went over 1200 watts over a thousand couple times um, just wanted to see how the wheels held up they held up great um, really no complaints at all um, from my first ride obviously this is just I went about like 17 miles or something um, just to try them out it was getting dark so I wanted to go back home but um, yeah I'm going to keep these on my bike I'm going to put the miles down on them and just uh, see how they hold up um, I'm a bigger guy like I've said about 200 pounds so it's the ultimate test lightweight wheels big dude it's pretty good pretty good person to test them out as opposed to someone that weighs you know buck 40 buck 50 so yeah so i will uh i will upload in the future